Hello and welcome to this video. This video is something special because I would like to exclaim a competition. A competition about the deepest false set you can make. And I've made myself a lock that has a pretty deep false set. But it is not part of the competition. It only serves as an example. So here are the rules. You can take any pin tumbler or dimple lock you like, 5, 6 or 7 pins, doesn't matter, and you can make any modifications to any part of the lock, doesn't matter. But all pins should be in working order in this lock and there should be a working key. So now when you pick it, you apply tension to the plug and while applying tension you mark your zero position like I've done here. That's the first black line goes from the plug to the housing. Then you pick your lock. Ah, it's open. I didn't want it to be open at that point. So I'll start again. So here we are. Uh, we are at the deepest possible uh, false set angle. And if you have reached your false set, your maximum false set, you mark the plug at the same uh, position where you have uh, left the mark at the housing. So now you have two marks at the plug uh, defining the angle of the false set. And last but not least, you should be able to pick open the lock. And here we are, it's open. So I will lock it back up again and normally now the gutting part would come but um, I will do the gutting a little bit later. I will now, sh now show you how you can determine or calculate the angle of the full set. I've taken a picture of this lock and it's now displayed on the computer screen and magnified to an extent so that I can still see the whole plug. And what you can do now in order to get the angle of the false set is you simply print it out. So you then take an angle ruler and just uh, measure the angle of the false set. So it should be easily possible. But there is another way which requires some uh, mathematical effort, not too much, but at least a little bit of it, <laughs> and therefore we need uh, two numbers. First is the diameter of the plug, and you can measure that from the screen, and it doesn't matter which uh, magnification level you have applied, so just measure it uh, in centimeters or inches or whatever, like on uh, just just uh, what you see on your screen and then also measure the distance of the two marks at the position or at the surface um, of the plug. So the distance, the straight linear distance from this point uh, from this point to that point. And if you have this these two numbers I will show you how you can uh, calculate the angle. All right, now let's do the math. So here let's say is the center of the plug and that's the plug itself. Um, 
we have taken notes of the diameter so let me call it D and half of the diameter is the radius which goes from here to there and let's say that this is the zero position so the, the mark on the plug where you start picking and let's say that this is the mark on the plug um, that indicates the maximum force set so then we are interested in this angle let's call it alpha but we also know this distance here the distance between the two marks and I call it X and with these um, values we need to calculate the full set angle alpha and therefore I make a projection here which gives me a right angle triangle and we know a lot about this triangle because we know that this is alpha half that this is x half and we know that this length is d half and therewith we can also uh, simply um, write down the sinus definition in a right angle triangle which is um, um, sinus of the angle equals um, the cathetus divided by the hypotenuse oh, I don't know how to pronounce this correctly, sorry which is d half and this equals to x divided by d so therewith you simply um, solve this equation and get alpha is twice of the inverse sinus x divided by d so here we go that's the equation to uh, calculate the full set angle by the given values of the distance between the two marks on the plug and the diameter you simply need to have a scientific calculator or your mobile device with a calculator or any other device that is able to calculate the inverse of the sinus and you can simply calculate the angle alright so now let me take my log apart and show you the internals and finally I will tell you about the price so here is again the full set lock and I have taken off the clip already and now let me cut it for you Alright, here you can see your price if you win, if you manage to make a lock with the deepest false set. The price is a transparent padlock, 50 mm, fully functioning. You can see all the internals working very nicely. The item is not yet here, but I've ordered it and it should be there in one or two weeks, or maybe three weeks, but doesn't matter because deadline for the challenge is the end of March. So please upload your YouTube video until the end of March. And as I said, my lock will not uh, take part in the, in the competition. So you don't have to beat my, my angle. But if you manage, you will get an extra bonus. But therefore you need to know the angle I can, I can reach with my lock. And I've... Um, measured x which is the distance between the marks on the plug to 3 millimeter and the diameter is 14 millimeters and now let's quickly uh, calculate the angle so it's 3 divided by 14 calculate the inverse of the sinus multiply by 2 and we get an angle of 24.7 24.7 degree so if you can beat that angle you will not only and if you win you will not only get this nice padlock but also get an extra bonus as a surprise 
All right. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoy this little competition. And I'm looking forward to a lot of nice full set videos. Thanks for watching again. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.